shit. That's how I'm gonna start my video off, just randomly cursing, really. Where's the class? One thing that annoys me about autistic people, and this is something I've realized upon actually interacting with them. See, I've always been somewhat autistic, very autistic. It's, it's noticeable. It's, it's written in my face practically. And I'm a tell. However, one thing I hate about them is that they're overthinkers, yet they always come up short in their analysis. There's always something short sighted. These are people that will essentially make decisions that seem so ridiculously unpractical for ends that they've had to really think through. I know I did this when I was 12 a lot. When I enforced my plan on how to deal with global warming, Thank the heavens I don't have such a position anymore that such a, an environmental issue exists. There are environmental issues that are a cause for concern, but out of all of them, that's just 2006 talking and defecating on my young preteen brain. But the strategy was just so short-sighted. All the ways I was going to deal with potential environmental disasters. With stuff like, oh, disastrous Yellowstone eruption or something of that nature. Or even a supernova or some catastrophic event billions of years from now. That seems totally impractical to think of and requires a solution that's short-sighted, autistic, and not really a display of my grace, my intellectual grace, that is, whatever there is present. And then, of course, I became an anarcho-capitalist, so that means that I was going to think about what it's going to take to make a civilization with no state yet private property private enterprises that are all competing in a free market how am I going to make that work because sure enough sure enough these are people that have diverse viewpoints. You're going to have the nihilistic, marketarian reductionists that don't care about serious social issues like race. You're going to have the ones that are a little bit reactionary in their viewpoints. You're going to have a good variety of anarcho-capitalists. And they're all ridiculously short-sighted in their own way. Because a lot of them... They're guys that are like me, except they have some good features, unfortunately, that are used incorrectly. I don't know. I don't know anything about mathematics or computer physics or anything of this nature. So when someone like Bulbasaur, when someone like him focuses so much on anarcho-capitalists, that I instantly become completely bored of half the shit that he focuses on. Um, that's something I can relate to in a way, even though it's totes boring. Because he's a melon. He probably gets triggered by the short-sightedness of 
these Aspie guys. YouTube.com is Autism Speaks. It's the real Autism Speaks. I am becoming really disenfranchised by the nature of it. You have people that are saying and proclaiming their viewpoints in terms of politics and philosophy to an environment of millions of people and they don't really have much avenue for certain areas of free speech a lot of them are saying stuff that shouldn't be censored because there is a lot of important truth to it and yet there's a level of ridiculousness to all of it with let's say in the reactor sphere you have Hartis Hartis viewpoints on game alphas, betas it's all good, it's a good archetype just like Moldbug has his archetype of Brahmin and Vaisya and Kowanik has his Dao Chromag stuff But when it comes to instituting their viewpoints, Moldbug's corporatist low-level fascism that, I forgot what he called it, formalism, short-sighted, as short-sighted can get. Where these manosphere like get-togethers and the way they plan on bringing back the 50s, that Hartiste instituting game kind of thing. Ridiculous as all hell, really short sighted, but he's the least short sighted of all of them. I guess that's what being elf is like. Koanic and his ideals are, he's self admittedly short sighted in some of them. I mean, he has the Neanderthal. Yet, again, short, <laughs> his ideal, like, what he'd see as being an ideal political spectrum so that melons can regulate the Cro-Mags, keep them happy and docile, and they get their power and ideal fix, and Thales can freely go into a cave whenever they want, yet they also have creative avenue. The short sighted, he even he could admit that he knows his own nature, yet Wow. I mean people can dream, right? Hold on. I think I've said this before, but lemonade is really good if you have brown sugar instead. It tastes much better. Because it's not just sweet, there's also a bit of a honeyish, a spice to it. Maybe not honey, maybe more like a syrup. It's good though. I mean, brown sugar could be its own flavor of ice cream, and I'd have it. Because there's a definite distinction, and it's missing from. It has a lot that I like, basically. It's more than just a sweetener. It feels like a complete spice to me. Or a season. Like you can season something with it. I don't know the right word. But I want to get back to the Bulbasaur thing, because... Really what I mean by that, I'm not saying... I'm not completely knocking the guy. I got love for him. But... When it gets, comes to, like... 
dissing the ANCAPs, that kind of gets boring, and he admits they're not worth speaking to about, but that's kind of what's becoming his gimmick in a way. He's an ANCAP slayer. He's getting rid of those autistic, short-sighted people and trying to turn them into whatever the hell he is, whatever the hell I am. I think we're both people that we don't know our ism, really. Everyone else can call, they can call each other reactionaries. I can't call myself a reactionary. I got a dislike in yesterday's Christmas video because I said that. Because I said I'm going to release a blog post explaining that. I got an unsubscribe because of it. I lost a subscriber. I can't identify as that. I'm similar as hell to a reactionary. But the difference is what makes me kind of heat away from that. And one of those differences is the short-sighted nature of it. And it's all going to be explained pretty soon. I just hope that... Well, I don't have a lot to hope for because I don't have a lot to worry about. Uh, we'll, we'll see soon enough. The cards will all play out in my favor, and whatever. It is what it is. This is Mr. Wonka 7, and Mary Wonkamus.